this Sunday we will have a follow-up of last Sunday's discussion where Jesus talked about eating his flesh and drinking his blood in order to have life in him. And some of them found that really hard to, hard to swallow. And that's kind of a funny expression, but that's true. <clears throat> so after this, on this Sunday, we're going to have this particular piece of scripture. After this, many of his disciples drew back and no longer went about with him. And so Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? And Simon Peter answered, Lord, to whom shall we go? You're the one who has words of eternal life. So what we see here is we see two groups of people. Some chose Christ and some didn't. So it's a decision we all make, as adults especially, no matter how we were baptized. And you know, there's other decisions you can make. Christ, I'm sure, isn't going to be any great help in your financial success. No, that's not going to work too good. And sometimes, being socially, you can be very unpopular if you follow the, the uh, principles of what Jesus set down. Because some people might not like that one very much if you put Jesus' message in their face. <clears throat> so, you have choices. You have a few choices. And I'd like to just uh, say, now, if we can go without Christ, where do you go for your ideas of truth? How do you know what truth is when you disregard the teachings of Christ? And Christ, I think, is a huge part of the meaning of life itself. Because I really believe that Jesus Christ told us and showed us how to live a full human life. And we have a few questions we could ask. If I leave Christ out of my life, where will I go for my ideas of truth? And I think that's a very big one. And another question we might ask is, if I leave Christ out of my life, where will I go with the, to, what do I do with the real fact of my own selfishness? How do I handle that? I can just ignore people, or I can just, or I can try to make some changes and live the way Christ wanted me to live. And if I leave with Christ out of my life, what will I do in the face of my dying and my death? And those, I think, are pretty severe questions and sincere questions that we all need to ask, and we probably do ask in different ways, maybe not in that same words, but we do ask ourselves those kind of questions as we mumble our way and carry on our monologues of how, what's going on in our life. So that's what, a little bit what we're going to cover, I think, on Sunday. And we'll see, how, see what we can make out of all of this. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>